Hey, good morning everyone. Brighton Early here from Yame, Fukuoka, Japan. So I finally had the opportunity to drive over the weekend to come and visit Rupert and his uh, wife Asaki-san. They live out here in the countryside. Uh, beautiful area. This area is, Yame is very famous for uh, tea. And, uh, but there's typical, there's also lots of rice and everything, but that's uh, mainly the, what they're really known for. I believe there's like 600 years of history with tea growing around this, this area. But um, the Rupert is from uh, England and his wife is Japanese and they, they live out here in the countryside. And uh, I met him over two years ago at the Minka Summit that, that took place over in Hanase in Kyoto. He was selling some of his uh, black rice, which he harvests all by hand and no chemicals and uh, very much the old way. And uh, so I just walk around and just, you know, we start talking like you would do with uh, any person at a, at a booth. And immediately I was just really drawn to his, uh, just one, his personality, uh, how he just exudes, uh, uh, I, I don't know, happiness, content. I think that's it, mainly content. And we started talking and more and more. And then from there, I just decided, you know, I, I, I really need to get to know this guy. <laughs> I know how many of us, we just, you know, kind of make little chit chat with people and then we just keep on going, right? But so we just started talking more and more. And so finally through several years of just talking back and forth, via Instagram, which his Instagram will be on the link below. Uh, we finally uh, made the uh, arrangements for me to come and visit. So what I ended up doing, I drove our, our van, our camper van down here. Originally, we were planning on staying up in the lake and that is the lake that feeds water to his rice field. Um, but I hit the ground running, quite frankly, because when I got here, him and his neighbors were doing the community cleanup that they do twice a year. It's really, really cool. And I actually got to experience it. And that prolonged into the night, which prolonged into drinking. <laughs> so, so it was a great time, to tell you the truth. Uh, we, uh, I got to talk to his neighbors and I got added to their, to their line group and asked me to come back. Uh, for their next one, which is December 16th, where they do the offerings to the uh, uh, God of the mountain. Today we did a little ceremony for the uh, water God, and then we went and cleaned up uh, where the, some of the water comes from. And uh, There's an 88 old lady there helping as well. I mean, it was just, it was just cool. It was just super cool. So anyways, folks, um, what I'm going to be doing is really splitting this up into multiple videos because there's absolutely no way i can do this justice in one eight minute video ten minute video so if you don't mind if you please follow along because it was really really interesting and uh, he also has a, a youtube channel with about 150 50 subscribers and absolutely no content whatsoever. <laughs> so, so we we have been talking, and because he is a in his former life, let's call it that, he was a or is a professional photographer, uh, digital design in Singapore. And what he did was he just pretty much escaped all that rat race. There's a really popular um, YouTube video of him from another gentleman that uh, his channel is called Growing Small and he has about 3.5 million views on that on one of it on one of the videos quite frankly what i would like for you guys to do is to subscribe to his channel because i'm going to uh, provide it there below uh, encourage him to make some videos we've been talking about that he but he's just too too busy you know taking care of his farm but what i told him yesterday is like you know people are will be drawn to your story to your lifestyle because quite frankly many of us uh we we we're attracted to that but, but we really don't want to do that if you have been following me yes i live in the countryside of japan we renovated nakia but i did it the lazy way out i pay someone to do it i yeah i still work and um so if there's something 
uh, difficult, hard, uh, that's going to take too much of my time. Um, I just end up paying someone to do that because, uh, you know, that's my that's my lifestyle. But uh, and a lot of people uh, really admire what, what he's doing and the dedication that he has to the land to do the all natural and everything. So I'll provide uh, the name of his uh, channel here and uh, please subscribe and look forward to to his content because we're going to encourage him to do it there's one other thing and this is something that i have never done and i never do i never ask for for money or buy me coffee or or anything like that i mean i, I do have a patron which <laughs> i've been slacking and i have not been putting up any raw or much raw data as i promised but hopefully i'll get there soon but uh, if you do wish to buy Rupert uh, coffee, or well, let's say more tea because he's a tea guy, uh, you, you are more than welcome to do it through my channel. I have a buy me a coffee capability. And if you do do so, uh, just comment, you know, uh, I don't know, tea for Rupert or something like that. And uh, I'll pass on the funds to him. And again, so please look forward to more content. Uh, it, it was just so, so much and so much fun and uh, so interesting. So that it was just, it's just, just like two days of content that I need to work through. All right, folks, uh, again, I hope you enjoy this type of content. If you do, uh, please hit like, subscribe and share and look forward to more. And if you know of anyone who has interesting, cool stories like this living in Japan, please let me know. Oh, and oh, by the way, he also has a TV um, crew coming from England early January of 2025. And the, I think they said it's Channel 5. They have millions and millions of uh, viewers throughout the world. So <laughs> he's becoming, quite frankly, quite famous with his very simple lifestyle. All right. Okay, let's uh, keep on doing this for the rest of the day and hopefully enjoy. Have a great day. Bye.